Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. Some of you might have multiple record types in Salesforce. Here I've got two different record types on my account object. Well, how can you control access to records based on record type? That's what we're going to talk about today. Most people think that they can set this up while they're creating the record type. That's actually not correct. So here I'm going to create a record type with you just to show you where the confusion happens. But this is not how you control access uh, to records based on record type. So here I'm just creating a new record type on, let's say, accounts. And we'll call it something like, I don't know, partner account. We'll turn it on. And this is where people think they're granting access to records here. This is not what's happening. When you check a box here, you're saying a person with this profile is allowed to create a record with this record type or change a record to this record type. They're allowed to create records of that type, but it does not change which records they're allowed to see. So here I just created a new partner account record type and I gave certain profiles access to it. Another way people try to control it is by going to the profile directly. So you go to some, some user's profile, you find a profile that you're interested in. I don't know, let's say the standard user profile. They go find the object in the profile and here they try to turn on and off access to those record types. So here I'll go to my account object. We'll go into the settings here and this is where people try to change the record type access. Again, this only controls which profiles can create records of that type. So if we actually want to control which records you can see and access, we do that with sharing settings, with sharing rules. So if I wanted to control which records you can see on accounts, well, then I have to manipulate the sharing settings and you have to make a record private. And once you do, then role hierarchies come into play. So like a sales rep's record will be shared with their manager and the manager up the chain to the director and so on. And when you think about an object, for there to be any kind of security at all, it needs to be private. If it's a public object, you're basically saying everyone can see every record anyway. So by making it private, that's how you're putting any kind of restriction on a record at all. Well, in this case, we're going to make accounts private, and that's going to allow us to lock down access to the account. Now, the record owner and people above the record owner in the role hierarchy will be able to see that account. Once you make the record private, now you start expanding who has access to different records through sharing rules. So here I'll create a new sharing rule on accounts. You can give it whatever name you want. Doesn't, doesn't really matter as long as you know what it is uh, for yourself and maybe put a description in there. But the rule type, this is where you really create which records are shared with which people. So I'm gonna base this on criteria. So here I'm gonna say, based on some fields on the account, like record type, I'm gonna decide who has access to this record. So uh, if this is a partner account, I'm going to share it with, and then you decide who. You can pick groups, you can pick roles, uh, and these public groups are really nice ways for you to decide exactly who gets what level of access. And here you can see with the account, I can even choose if it's read-write access, read-only access uh, to the other related objects. And if you don't know how to create a group, just search in, in the sidebar there, and you can just create a brand new group give it a name, and just really decide who's in it. So if you have a West team, an East team, a particular department or a division, this is where you would determine who's in that group. And then using the sharing rule is how you determine who or which groups get to see those records. So just remember, it's not the actual profile permission on who can create records of that record type. It's all controlled with sharing settings and role hierarchies. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.